Robert R. West, Sr. Robert R. West, Sr. And where were you born, Robert? Right here in good old T-Town. As a matter of fact, right across the street. And oh, at really? the time I was born there, it was called Christ Hospital. Uh -huh. Now it's uh, Stormontville. But I was born at the time when Stormont and Vail got together with uh, some Catholic church from uh, north of here, I don't know. And uh, it was called Christ Hospital. When were you born? 1946. About the fourth, third or fourth grade is when some people came through the neighborhood. Uh, it was a principal and some teachers, and they were going house to house telling people about the school we we're going to start going to. And uh, I didn't think much of it. I mean, I know it was uncomfortable going clear over to Washington School from our house, which is uh, uh, down there. If you probably don't remember Whelan's or the Santa Fe Rail where you catch the train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we just go around the corner and ride down, and there was a school, Lincoln, and uh, right where the back of the Ramada Inn is right. now, and uh, the Santa Fe Hospital was across the street. And, you know, me and my sister would just go around the corner, and there we'd be at school. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and I didn't think of that. It's like, why are we on this? After I got a little older, that bus was terrible. I mean, you know, it was so packed. A lot of kids in there pushing you around. And when you're first and second grade, those sixth graders and all that are bigger than you. It knocked my, my uh, fall design thing for my mother onto the floor and stepped on it. Right. And she still hung it on the wall. You know, she thought it was nice. But um, yeah, it, it was uh, a lot of tight quarters, but really nice teachers, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Teachers were more like family. I mean, they were strict. I mean, they were like, don't, and, and they might uh, smack you if, they, you know, mm -hmm. that's just the way, you know, because they were like, you know, a person who cared, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was, it and was, this is at which school? This was at Washington, okay. the, the school that was segregated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now at, at Lincoln, they didn't seem to be as caring, but they didn't really, uh, you know, just kind of let you go, you know. Uh, you weren't, you know, really looked at. Well, they did have some things that they said and I didn't understand mm -hmm. at the time. Can you recall a couple, any of those statements? Oh, just things like uh, you, uh, they were playing games, you know, like uh, football or baseball. And they might, one of the, the male teachers might say, well, you color guys need to be uh, faster. That's what you're here. That's what you do, you know. And I didn't, you know, think uh, too much of that. Uh, there was a game where the teacher was showing that he knew magic and he had this girl. Caucasian girl, and he would say, uh, oh, that door, he'd tell her that the, the answer, let's see, to the question would be, he called different colors, uh, this, this, the door, and then that would mean brown, you know, or the, the device he was searching for. And this one boy who was behind, uh, sitting behind me, they were all in a circle, uh, he s called him as the identification for what they were talking about. And he was very dark skinned. And so the thing was black, you know, and I didn't think too much, you know, kids though, that I thought about that later, I said, uh, you know, yeah. and so I was really inquisitive at times. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about slavery and George Washington and, you know, all that. And I said, but George Washington had slaves? Because I just, you know, because we were patting him on his back, he was George Washington. Right. And, uh, he said, uh, uh, well, yes, but he was nice to his slaves, just really nice to them. And so a few, a little while later, I'm thinking about how can you be nice to a slave? You're beating them to work. <laughs> and, you know, and I don't care if you're George Washington or who you are. You're, you're, you know, that's not being nice to a person when you got them living in the barn. You know what I mean? Exactly. And so, uh, you know, it was 
we didn't have nobody at Washington doing that. How did you learn history at Washington versus at Well, Lincoln? in Washington, I was like in the second, third grade, you know. So, yeah, we, we were, they used to show films uh, at noon on certain days. You know, you could see a cowboy, I don't know, Roy Rogers or somebody like that. Mm -hmm. But we were the younger kids. Yeah, they were older uh, mm -hmm. kids, clear up to, I would imagine, the sixth grade. Right.